We do have some predictions for GoFest this year, whether it's in person or global. I'm Alex Gum, aka Chicle, and welcome to Pokemon Go Ahead. Before we get to some predictions, just wanted to make an announcement. I have bought my GoFest ticket for New York City from August 18th to the 20th. So I will be in New York at Randall's Island Park for GoFest during the morning park experience from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on August 19th. It's going to be on that Saturday. And then I'm also going to be doing the city-wide version on both Friday the 18th and Sunday the 20th. So if you guys are in New York City for GoFest, hope to see you guys there. I heard a couple people from Reno are also flying out to New York. So hopefully we get to see you guys there in person in one of the biggest events in history. Also, if you guys were planning on a trip to Osaka, Japan, unfortunately tickets are sold out. But there are still tickets for the London, England GoFest. And that is on the same weekend as Osaka. Make sure you get your tickets, especially for New York, if you want to see your boy in the Big Apple. We have some predictions on what could happen during GoFest and what is gonna debut. So before we get into that, subscribe and hit the notification bell and let me know in the comments below, will you be in New York City for GoFest? So let's stop rambling, let's get into today's video. Now every year when we have a GoFest, we usually have a mythical Pokemon up here and debut. So last year we had Shaman and the Sky form of Shaman. The year before we had Meloetta, and the year before that we had Victini. So this year we're going to assume that we're gonna see Diancie. The reason why we think that is because on the GoFest logo for this year, we saw two little pink diamonds. That indicates it's the mythical Pokemon Diancie. It's a rock fairy type, it has a diamond as a butt, so obviously it's Diancie. Now I think it would be very foolish if they decided not to include another Pokemon that is not related, but similar to it. We have Carbink, also a rock and fairy type. It's just a little diamond. We need more Gen 6 in Pokemon Go, and I think Carbink dropping during GoFest would make the most sense if we have Diancie featured for this year's GoFest. Now, every single year, we usually get a Rotom form during GoFest. In 2020, we got the Rotom Wash form from Snapshots, and last year, if you went to either Seattle, Sapporo, or Berlin, you were able to get Rotom Mo. But last year, if you were doing it globally, you got the wash form. We do assume that there's gonna be another Rotom form for those who are playing in person. I'm just going to say Rotom Heat just because it's a fire type, it's summertime, and summer is all about the heat, so either take the heat or not. Some are also saying the Rotom Fan, which makes more sense too, but I'm gonna put my money on the heat form. One of the newer features that we had for almost a year is the daily adventure incense. So now that a lot of people are going out and going out in person, it would make a lot of sense to give bonuses to trainers who are playing GoFest to have more of a durability and more increase of shiny rate, catch rate, and spawn rate for the Galarian birds. What I would say is probably a 30 minute duration of a daily incense and then we would probably see more of the Galarian birds pop out. So then at least we can go home with at least one Galarian bird. So we're not just dropping it and be like, where's my Galarian Articuno? You know what I'm saying? So it would be nice to increase the catch rate so we don't have to use the Master Ball. It would be great to increase it to 30 minutes instead of 15. And it would be really great to spawn. So at least like four or five would come at a time instead of like one or none. So I think that'd be a really great way. Bonus points if they can drop shiny Galarian birds. And I feel like they might include different birds in different regions. So we might see Zapdos for maybe London, Articuno for Sosaka, maybe Galarian Moltres for New York. Who the heck knows? I think that would make the most sense. Now I can't tell you exactly what the raids are gonna look like for GoFest, but I can tell you that maybe there are other legendaries that might be featured in the wild. I mean, think about it for a second. It's located in three different parts, one in Asia, one in the US, and one in Europe. And there are three legendaries that are either in raids or spawning in the wild. And those are the Emotion Trio, Uxie, Mesprit, and Azel. So we could probably see Mesprit in London, we could see Azel in New York, and we could see Uxie in Osaka in the wild. It could be an incense spawn, if you're lucky, you can even get a shiny. That would be super crazy because I know that it hasn't been in raids in a while since their shiny debuts. 
So that would be really crazy too. Now when we went to Las Vegas for the Hoenn tour, one of the features is having 10 kilometer eggs featuring regional Pokemon. And if you buy the egg Thucyus bonus, you get an increased chance of 10 kilometer eggs. You also get extra XP, candy, stardust. You also get extra shiny increase rate of hatching those eggs. So we got shiny Torkoal from that. We also got shiny Relicanth from that. I think we got a shiny Tropius from a trade, but we still got two out of three. Now, I personally bought the Egg Thucyus bonus for GoFest this year, and the bonuses apply just like with the Hoenn Tour. I feel like we're gonna get some regional shinies only exclusively in 10 kilometer eggs. What could the regionals be? Well, we have to think about some Pokemon that are in specific areas that have not been located globally yet. So one of the ones that come to mind is probably Basculin. Basculin has two different forms. One is like a red stripe and the other one's a blue stripe and they're on different hemispheres. So I think one is the Western. That might be the blue one. I haven't seen a Basculin in a long time, but I think the other one might be in the Eastern hemisphere. So having them both in every single location for GoFest this year would be great. I also think their shiny might drop because technically around 2021, they had an ultra unlock where like regionals came out and Basculin for both stripes, blue and red were out. So it would be cool to see that hatching 10 kilometer eggs to get a shiny. Ooh, okay. So there's one that is exclusive in Egypt it is called Sigilith, and it looks like a totem that with wings has an unknown for a head. And instead of like blue highlights, there's like green highlights. And usually it's in Egypt. It hasn't had a global debut. So it'd be really cool to see that come. We also have Buffalon, which is like a buffalo. And it is exclusive in New York City. So it'd be really nice for Osaka and London to have that as well. Maybe global as well. It'd be also nice to get it here in New York. So like we're going before and after. So like after GoFest, we could shiny hunt for Buffalon. That'd be really, really cool. And then finally, I decided to include Pachirisu. Just because it's like one of those Sinnoh regionals that still have not made a global debut. It's currently in Alaska and Canada. So if it has a global debut during Global Go Fest, and then it also is obtained in 10 kilometer eggs when you are in an in-person Go Fest, I think that'd be really cool. Also, it's shiny is really cool. It's like a pinkish shiny. So I feel like one of those regionals would be featured in 10 kilometer eggs and you have an increased chance of getting them shiny. So that would be really awesome, especially if you have the Aethusius bonus. I really think we're gonna get some regional shinies. That's why I'm gonna put my money into that. Now, obviously, I don't think that we're just only getting shiny regionals. We're also gonna get some new shinies. Now, I can't tell if we're going to have all the same shinies for Osaka, London, New York, and Global but I'm just gonna list them out all in general what we all would want to see. The first one, I'm just gonna say, just like everybody else, we might get shiny Gumi because there's a pattern going on from every single GoFest. In 2020, Gibble has been featured. In 2021, we had Dino featured. Last year, 2022, when we played globally, we had Axew be more featured and it had a shiny debut. So for this year, we're assuming that with this whole pattern of dragon types being featured for GoFest, we can see Gumi appear and we could probably see its shiny drop. This will be more of the harder shinies to find, but I think it'd be really cool to go after shiny Gumi in the Big Apple. Another thing that we noticed, we usually have pairs of Pokemon that tend to have a shiny drop during GoFest. In 2020, Heatmore and Durant had shiny debuts. In 2021, Sock and Throw, which are regionals, had shiny drops. And in 2022 of last year, we also had shiny Carablast and shiny Shelmet for the global. So I feel like this year, we're gonna have another pair of Duo have their shiny drop. Shiny Skrelp, which is a water poison type seahorse Skrelp kelp thing. And then we also have shiny Clauncher. I personally like shiny Clauncher more than shiny Skrelp because of that bright orange contrasting for its original blue. So that would be really awesome to go after those shinies. I'm just throwing out a random shiny, but I'm just gonna say shiny ducklet. I don't have a reason why. I just wanted to throw in something unexpected and get a good prediction correct. So I'm gonna say shiny ducklet. I don't even know why people are not talking about ducklet. It's not a good Pokemon, not to say that, but like it hasn't had a shiny yet. Now, of course, I feel like we are very, very lacking on the Alola shinies because we only have Young Goose, Rockruff, Stuffle, and the Tapus. Everything else that is from the Alola region does not have shinies. So I think it'd be nice to give a little love to the Alolan Pokemon. So like Shiny Moraini, for example. 
I like that vibrant vibes and shades of pink that it has comparing to the blue and purple. It'd be really cool to see something like this up here in the wild. The second one is a grass fairy type called Morlul. It is a shroom Pokemon. And I really like this shiny personally because it has the brown yellow top for the mushrooms. And also it's just so cute. We also had Shroomish last year for a shiny debut. So having another mushroom would make the most sense. And finally, I am scratching my head because we don't have shiny Grubbin. The reason why I want shiny Grubbin is because I want shiny Vikavolt. Okay, because Vikavolt's silver green pattern looks sick. It makes me want like a new fresh Tesla or something. Those are the shiny Pokemon that I am predicting that we're gonna get for GoFest. Oh, and I also forgot, we obviously have a known during GoFest usually, and they drop a shiny letter. But I feel like we're going to get shiny unknown question mark and shiny unknown exclamation point just because they haven't been in the game since 2018. So a return is necessary and it would be nice to get a shiny if we're lucky. So that'd be really cool. And ladies and gentlemen, those are my predictions for Pokemon Go Fest, what shinies we're gonna get, what new Pokemon we're gonna get. That's all the time that we have for today. We will see you guys next time for another video. Again, subscribe and hit that bell and we'll see you next time. Peace out.